have like three devices. So I have like Google Meet. <laughs> I have Google Meet here. I have Unlonely on my iPad and I have Discord on my phone. And we are and live. live. Here we go, GM Farcaster. It's always a little bit of a minute to make sure that we're, we are actually streaming. So if you get that little delay, that's why. Um, we're excited to be here with you this morning. It is October 9th, 2023. I feel like I should start like that from now on. Um, and we're going to plug through with our, you know, Farcaster news, but we are thinking about, you know, the bigger world events that are happening right now. Um, I know we have some friends that we know through nouns that are, you know, in harm's way and they've let us know that they're safe and things like that in, in Israel. So, um, we're just going to push forward today, but we are thinking of everybody who is um, experiencing this atrocity right now. All right, so on to happier news, my llama mug. Um, so there you go. Don't spill the tea. Uh, this is what I'm drinking out of today, and both of us are not feeling great because we've been traveling, so we're both a little sick having our tea or coffee this morning. Um, I've got a history. You... I've got a oh. history mug. Oh, nice. So Where's I actually got this, I got a whole collection of mugs. They were science mugs. So I had one on physics, one on chemistry. Hmm. There's a biology one because I'm a science girl. And then there that. was this like random history one thrown in. And I, I was like, that. That's good. see the history yeah. one would be the one I would want to buy, which is so funny. Um, <laughs> and you'd gag you like, here's the science ones. You guys take it. Um, that's awesome. I love it. So let's, let's jump in. One of the first things I wanted to mention was, um, that Bill Z, Bill Z H had, uh, DWR on Abura the other day for a Farcaster space talking about permissionless signups, um, how we grow, you know, daily active users in a quality way, updates on channels, pass key, and talking about, um, forking of Farcaster. And I think that's, you know, there's a lot happening. We're moving into the permissionless era. Um, what are your thoughts on that coming up? I don't even, when's the last day people can use their invitations too? Like it must be, I thought it was like, like this weekend. Any like day imminent. now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's last imminent. Dan said is permissionless is coming middle of this week, maybe okay. as early as Wednesday. Um, kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little excited. A little nervous. What do you think? Um, did you listen? So did you actually, did you listen to Bill? I didn't get a chance to listen okay. to the recording yet. So if you can, if you got a summary, that would be great. Um, been meaning to. I'm probably going to do it on my, in the car later on today. No, it was great. I know he's been doing these every now and then. And, and Dan even offered, he would make it more regular, but. Um, oh, awesome. Yeah. So they touched on a lot. They talked about permissionless. They talked about um, channels, how to grow quality engagement. Um what was his thoughts on but, growing quality engagement? Do you, did he have, you know, is it just like sort of hoping that the leads will help with that? Is that like what he's thinking or, so I haven't listened to that part yet. So, you know, and Ivy started a chat as well, a thread with some thoughts. Mm. Um, it's Monday morning. I haven't finished my coffee. Don't make me remember something okay. I heard three days ago, prof. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do my, I didn't do my homework. I don't I know my notes. I, I listened got. to it. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I think that's definitely something everybody's thinking about is like, how can we make sure we've got, you know, the same quality engagement that um, we have right now and that it doesn't slip. And I don't, I think it's just going to be a matter of trial and error as we go. And I think, but I do think the channels will help with that. Um, so I know we've talked about engagement being a little bit down, but I really think it's because channels are so much more active. So if you're not following that particular channel that's active right now, it may seem like wow, it's quiet, but you could go into one channel and it's like, oh my God, this is popping off like crazy. I can't even keep up. So it's, it seems like that's going to be the way that we keep things like more signal than noise. Hopefully we'll see. Um, what I thought was interesting is Danica Swanson had a, a cast and she casted about the Zorbs channel. Yes. So when we did the channel leads experiment, there was a little bit of, um, uh, debate, right. Of like, mm -hmm. Is this too centralized? Are we moderating, you know, the kind of what that push and pull is? And she said, um, and obviously I'm a channel lead for Farcaster, shout out. But even <laughs> I felt a little, like I was even hesitant when I was right. like, what is, you know, my role in this world? You know, so 
She just made the point though, because she loves the Zorbs channel, but without a lead, you can start to interject non-Zorbs content. Right. And right. things that are feel, off topic and yeah. And that's and then it loses quality. So right. um so no answer to it. I think Dan just responded back something. Oh no, that was a different thread. I don't know, but it's just What's the answer? We'll see. We don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have to just keep going along and trying different things. And um, there was a discussion too, and I can't remember if I talked about this last week or not. No, I think it happened after. Um, I was in a different. I was on an Abura space, and there were the, there was Les and, and Chris co-created and a couple others, and they were talking about being a little hesitant coming into the Farcast Her channel. Um, they're like, oh, I was going to recast this, but then I thought twice, and I'm like, you know what, like you're welcome just don't mess with the vibes like you know take a minute and like look around see what's going on and then like come on in but just don't you know yeah just don't come not kicking the door down <laughs> I think it's the, just go 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 carefully what are your thoughts on that absolutely and actually that concept of think twice is making me think of that of the the screen you get after you hit cast oh well that's perfect perfect yes you get that transition get that transition perfectly <laughs> if i can find that one um the uh that was rude. yes so warp cast uh, yeah it shows you a screen where you can undo your cast before you post it do you find this useful with something that was just posted by at b so yeah that's a great transition of that so um yeah i think that's i think that's a good approach right to make sure that like does this fit in this channel does this make sense here or is it better somewhere else? And I don't think that's a bad a bad thing. I think it just gives it more thoughtfulness before you cast. Um, so what I do you think about the undo button though? Yeah, I mean, I think generally any small little prompts that make us think for like a split second before we act on social media is a good thing. Um, in, in my conference that I went to last week that I've casted a little bit about, it was a DevOps leadership conference. Um, one of the speakers was talking about developer experience. Um, Nicole Forsgren, if people know her, she's famous in some world. Um, but she said one of the things she was talking about, like what makes a good developer experience was cognitive, like reducing cognitive load. It's like trying to make things easy at work. But she said, you don't want completely zero friction. It's like you need just the right amount of friction. And someone else I was talking to gave the analogy of like, when you have no friction, it's ice. Ice has no friction. What do you do uh, when you walk? What do you do when you walk on ice? I'm really careful. Yeah. Like you slip, you fall, you, slip, you, you fall, fall on your you face. Really, really you careful. Your... Yeah, you avoid. So um, you don't want too much friction, but a certain amount of friction in certain scenarios. So I'm the the the, the undo screen. Um, yeah, it doesn't bother me. I don't I hate like it. it. Yeah, I don't. I have used it a couple times because we also don't have an edit. So to me, that gives me a minute to be like, oh, wait, if I, you know, caught something, um, something like that. And uh, I'm just looking at what does the branding say? It's so subtle. And I'm not sure what you're talking about, but I'm guessing you mean Farcast Her. I'm not positive. Um, so, uh, Eggs, if you want to expand on that, I'd love to know what you mean by um, which, which um, branding. And then. Um, oh, this is so relevant to my oh, <laughs> the, the hat of my hat. <laughs> the hat. I was like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> um, it's What's probably not. It's... Oh, cool. It's a, is it an Adidas hat? It's an yeah. Adidas hat. This is really subtle. That's funny. I almost wore my on-chain hat today, and it's the same kind of thing. It's like white on white and black on black. It's really subtle. That's so funny. Um, so there you go, eggs. <laughs> That says Adidas. Um, so funny. Uh, okay. Not that cool. Not that cool. <laughs> not, not not that cool, cool. But funny. Okay, <laughs> let's jump to. I want to jump to a couple other things because, of course, time is time is running. Um, Tyler Cosgrove had this really cool visualization of the Farcaster Network, um, and I thought this was um, really neat. It took me a second to find me and you. Did you find us? I found me. I found me. I saw a few people I was close to. I didn't see yeah. how close you and I are to each other. We are not very close, which is interesting. Um, we're in the same general area, and but we're in our in our little clusters. And I thought it was interesting to see. Like I saw, um, and I always pronounce this wrong. Dewoofy. 
Um, am I saying that right? Of course I'm not. Yeah, Duwoofy. Um, was really close to where you are. And that made sense to me. Like you guys seem to seem to vibe in the same in the same space. And it was funny, I looked like I'm really close to Chris Co created and of course like Chris Corella and Zach. And it's it made sense because we're over in the Dow area doing our thing. <laughs> Um, so it was like all the Dow people. I'm over with all the Dow people and you're over here, but it was, uh, it was kind of neat. It was a cool visualization to see, um, you know, think about it, it think of Farcaster in terms of a network state. That's how I was looking at that it, and thinking about that, you know, that concept of a network state and how close, you know, who, who is in your, you know, your part, your zone of, uh, the network state. It does look like Australia. I'm just looking at our chat comments. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to pop the chat out of Unlonely because it won't work for me. I think my pop-up blockers are doing something. And so we can actually put it on the screen. But if you're not in the uh, Unlonely chat, um, I thought the same thing, Arjun, when I saw it. I'm like, it looks like Australia. And I don't think that's a bad thing. <laughs> so I love those Aussies. Those are some of my favorite people. Um, it's a made-up word. <laughs> oh, I can see me. Yes, I saw you too. Um, and uh, yeah, whatever brings you joy. People started to shorten it to make it woofy and woof at NYC next year. Okay, you are now woof to me. That's it. Or woofy. I like woofy. It's woofy. I feel like it's woofy forever. There you go. Um, you're evolving. Yes, we have some evolving. Um, okay, so I want to jump into this cast, which was from Jason Goldberg. And I thought this was really interesting for a few reasons. Actual feedback from a potential investor today, you're too old. Old people focus on building real businesses. Younger people build friend tech and make millions with nothing. Um, I had lots of thoughts on this. What was your first thinking? I'd love to get your take first. It's, it's so silly that it's almost unbelievable, except you know it's not. You know that. And, and right. so I just... Shout out to everyone out there raising money yes. because like to, to all the builders and the shit you have to put up with. Um, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, you don't like, want them to build a real business that might be sustainable over time. You just want to see how quickly you can make money is what you just said. So to me, it was like, wow, dodged a bullet there, buddy. <laughs> it's like, at least they were honest because, you know, you obviously you want, you're, you're not aligned. Um, clearly, but, uh, I find that, I found that so crazy. And I feel like that's such a, like, really says a lot about the space that we're currently in, in that, you know, we don't necessarily think about sustainable over time. We don't think about growing something, you know, in the long term. it's always like fast. It's the, you know, pump and dump. It's why the, you know, the NFT space and the, and the crypto space overall has gotten so quiet is because those opportunities for quick flips are are gone. So, but to me, it feels better. Like to me, it's better. It's people who are building real things and that's what I would want to invest in. So like, to me, that was like so flipped. It's the exact opposite of what, you know, investors should be looking at is like, how can you build something that's long-term, you know, is gonna be here longer than a couple years. And, and from there and saying nothing about friend tech at all, because I don't know enough well, about their long-term vision. I just know a little bit. Um, but what else is well, your, what's your thought? I was going to say, well, that's, that's the VC game, which is, yeah. you know, outsized returns in a very short period of time, but um, yeah. it's not the only VC game, but, um, but it is, it's like when people talk, listen, you know, it's kind of the, and, and yeah find the investors that you share values with and figure yeah. out what game and figure out what games people are playing. Absolutely. Hey, the dog is, yes, the dog agrees completely quiet. Um, I like to, yeah, thankfully Jason can raise money for people that it's hard for this could be soul crushing. Absolutely. When you're trying to raise funds and you get comments like this, it's, <clears throat> I think any, you know, any negative, any negative comments that don't give you feedback you can use are just not helpful, right? Because that's not feedback he can do anything about, you know? Yes, I'm old, so <laughs> you know, look, what do you want me to do here, buddy? Um, but, you know, if it's something that can be useful to help you pivot or to help, you know, grow the brand, or if you feel, you know, then it's then it can be a helpful it, process, but most of the time it's not. But yeah. red flag and run. You don't want that investor. Absolutely. You don't want their money. 
Um, right. Someone in, I think it was in Farcast, her also said something recently, yeah. um, woman raising money and just said, um, I think it was the investor said, just so you know, um, I don't have a problem, like, I don't have a problem yeah. with women, but everybody else will, you know, like everyone else does yep. or some, something along those lines. So like, I don't have a problem with the woman founder, but I other did. people will. And it's like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Um, uh, and there's a really good uh, combo happening here. Personally, I'm a little uh, bro at early stage VC. Your entire job is to be good vibes. So founders and other people like you kind of. Um, but it's also, you know, I can understand you're trying to find, you know, depending on what your goal is as an investor and what you're, you know, are you looking for something that's going to turn a profit in a couple of years or are you in the 10 year mindset? If you're in a 10 year mindset, then this to me is like the opposite thinking. If you're just looking for quick quick flips and trying to just you know up that um, that return real fast, then yeah, it makes sense that they wouldn't be looking for something that's going to take a while to turn a profit. But I feel like that's you know all part of this attention economy that we're in right now. That's so like, I need it now. I need it quick. I need it you know to turn a profit tomorrow. And it's you know impossible for builders who are gonna. It's going to take a lot longer. Um, None of our biggest businesses were ever built overnight. They took years. And a lot of times there was a lot of missteps along the way. So I don't know. And the game is shit. <laughs> don't, don't hate the player. Hate the game. Yep. There we go. Um, okay. We, we had a bunch of things we're trying to get through today because it was so much fun things. Um, oh, I want to talk about bot commands. And this one's going to be a little hard to see, but we're going to post the link in the recording. But this was from Accountless. And it was all the, or I don't know if it was his or somebody else did it, but it was a list of all the different bot commands that you can use on Farcaster. And uh, to me, like the, one of the biggest things early on that I thought was so cool was at bot faucet that would send you Gorley. Oh. I just thought that was really cool because it, it, there was a lot of, you know, developers who needed Gorley all the time when they're doing test, test nets. And I was doing some on, um, when we first launched uh, Nouns Builder, doing some things on Testnet. And that was just really cool to be able to just like, boom, at bot faucet and there's Gorley ETH in my, in my wallet. And more so, I think I was impressed just by the fact that it could be done. And it could be done on Farcaster, I thought was a very, really cool into integration. Do you have any particular bots that you think are cool that you use or? I use, yes. Um, and by the way, Furlong um, in the chat just gave the source for the bot list. Oh, thank you. It's thank in. You, thank you. It's in the uh, in the A16Z GitHub Farcaster cool. repository. So yeah, we'll link really to that. really bad about dropping links into the chat. We, we can only well, chew gum and walk so many different ways. By the way, <laughs> and in, in this Holix, can I just shout out to the people in on the stream and chatting? Love you that you're here. Yeah. Yes. Um, we're experimenting in the new new media. And I just so you know, I've got um, like Farcaster monitoring over here, Unlonely over here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's super fun. Um, I wish I had three eyes. Um, so my favorite bot is Remind Me. Oh yeah, you use that all the time. I've seen that, and I have not used it, but I've seen a few people use it, and it's really cool. Tell um, us what so rem uh, Remind Me does. Remind Me is um, it just well, it's it's a reminder for yourself. So you cast, you know, at Remind Me, a time period and it'll just ping you back so i use it if i see a cast that like oh or a longer form article i didn't read yet it's like oh remind me tomorrow and i'll read it again so i don't have to keep track of my own cool. things or what i love to do is to hold people accountable so if someone says hey i'm working on a blog or i'm trying to do this <laughs> i'll say remind me in three months so that i can follow up with them and say hey how's I'm your scared. progress <laughs> I'm scared. We've got a life coach here to, to watch us on all the Mariah me. I know you have to jump. So let's wrap up really fast. Um, so I like it. There was also a chat GPT one now that I think is really cool that I have to try out. Um, I did want to just point out one drop that happened, a special NFT drop that just happened. Uh, that was by you. And that was conversational liquidity providers, the unsung heroes of Farcaster. And I just thought it was really cool that you, did another mint the first mint you ever created the first nft you ever created was at farcon this is your second one and i like the idea of adding to the seniors through um nfts and minting these like thoughts that we have as we talk on farcaster so that is pretty cool so that's exciting so uh go mint um 
Adrian's new thing <laughs> for free. On an unsung hero is my way of saying I can't build an app, <laughs> but I can make conversation. But I can but make I can conversation, talk. and this is what we do here. So we are your morning conversational liquidity providers, bringing you the news from from all around Farcaster. Um, one last thing: there was a great uh, new Dune ba- dashboard that's out there. This link will be also in our notes, our show notes today. So uh, another fun thing to take a look at. We are going to wrap because. Adrian's about to head out the door, uh, go drop the kiddo off somewhere. Um, we're always running, busy mom. So when you give you give uh, busy people something to do, they always follow through. But man, remind me in two weeks to see how Adrian is doing with her reminders. Is uh, Whoopi's <laughs> new reminder. Um, so we'll check in with that in two weeks. <laughs> it's, all <laughs> it's all very meta. It's all very meta. Thanks everybody who's in our chat today. Um, have a wonderful day. GM Farcaster. Bye-bye. GM.